So car shoppers want it all these days, a car that has plenty of room, all the new technology and safety, and not good, but great gas mileage. Take a look at this, the 2015 Honda Accord, one of the top selling mid-sized cars in America. Now what if I told you that this Accord delivers 50 MPG City? Well it does, because it's a hybrid. This Accord Hybrid looks exactly like the gas-powered Accord. All the safety, creature comforts, technology, the room of the midsize, but this Accord is powered by gas and electric. We're joined by Casey Martin here at Majestic Honda in Lincoln. So the Accord comes as a hybrid. Isn't that kind of like the, the cherry on top of the Sunday? It is, John. A lot of people don't realize that not only can you get a regular Honda Accord, which gives you all the great Honda Accord qualities, but it is available as a hybrid and well that gives you absolutely incredible gas mileage. Well, let's uh, talk about it. Show us around here. What are we looking at? This is the newest Honda Accord Hybrid. It's a 2015 model, and it has the most advanced hybrid motor that Honda's ever produced. So here's your four-cylinder gas engine. Here's the electric part of it. That's, that's correct. Okay. And there's a lot more to it inside that we can't show here. But essentially, the gas motor drives a giant generator. The generator creates electricity, and the electric motor actually drives the car. Now, other than this, other than this Accord as a hybrid, it's really just an Accord. All the safety, all the other technology, all the other creature comforts inside pretty much mirror the gas-powered Accord, correct? You are absolutely correct. If you were to get into, if we close this hood, you're driving a Honda Accord. So not only does it give great ride quality, um, handles great, it's still a Honda Accord. So it's same get up, same performance. It's actually, it accelerates maybe even a little quicker than the standard four cylinder because the electric motor generates torque immediately. So as soon as you hit the pedal, it's got full torque to the wheels. Yeah. So it's actually a fun car to drive. I do see one difference, this nice blue trim here on the grill. Absolutely, it's on the grill in the front, it's also in the back in the tail lights. It's just to help differentiate it from the standard Honda Accord. So is the Hybrid Accord a little more expensive? Of course it is, right, Casey? Because it's got the electric part of the whole configuration here. Exactly, and the largest cost of the hybrid technology is still the battery. The lithium ion battery pack is very expensive to produce, as well as the additional electronics for the, the generator and of course the electric motor. Um, but most of that extra cost you should recoup over the life of the vehicle. Again, if you're a commuter who drives high mileage and, uh, and stuck in stop and go traffic a lot, yeah. the, the almost double gas mileage should uh, give you a good return on your investment. Um, all the hybrids have the same style 17 inch wheel which is unique to the hybrid yeah um, but they're all 17s um, again being the EXL model it has some of the features that we've discussed in prior episodes it does have the lane watch system it has the directionals built into the the headlight for an additional safety feature it has the lane departure warning camera um, and then the model above this one does have the newest feature, which is the adaptive cruise control. Which is down here, correct? That's correct. Yep. It has an actual radar unit in the car that measures the distance of the vehicles in front of you. Yeah. And it's got the keyless. It does. This model has the push button start with the keyless entry. Yeah. So you don't have to move your key from, the, uh, from your pocket or purse. Casey, let's uh, fire it up here because I'd like, to, I'd like the viewers to see the instrument panel all lit up. You got it, John. If okay. I hit the start button one again, it is a push start. It just turns on the basic features of the car. Yep. But if you hold the brake and hit it again, the car will start. As you can tell on the display, there's a lot of information up here. The first thing you'll notice is the flower in the upper left, which is the econ button that we've just talked before. We can turn that on or off. For the most part, we recommend you leave it, leave it on, of course. That's what gives you this little item in the front of the, of the instrument panel, which is a little car. That little car is going to tell you or show you how you're driving. Yep. Um, if you're driving aggressively, the little car will move up and it'll turn blue, showing you're accelerating too quickly. Green is good, blue is bad. The idea is to not only is the technology in the car giving you the great fuel economy, but it's trying to teach you to be a better driver. Great. Is there anything here that's going to tell the driver whether it's in gasoline mode or electric mode? There is. Uh, when you go through the display here, there's a lot of different screens, but one of them, as we go through them all, is right here. Ooh. Now, the two outside icons are actually your tires. Yep. The upper one is supposed to be an engine. And the that one the, there, yeah. And the bottom one is the battery. Yep. As you drive, it's going to show you, and the car just shut off because we were idling for too long. This uh, car is so smart. <laughs> <laughs> as, now it's gonna run only, as you can tell, the AC is still on. It's using the electric uh, power from the battery to keep the AC running and keep the car going. Um, so again, as you accelerate now, depending on how quickly you're accelerating, it's either gonna draw the power from the battery, from the generator, which the motor's powering the generator, right. or from both. So as you're driving, it's actually gonna show you 
where the power is going to move the wheels. So you never have to guess, it's right in front of you. That's correct. Yeah. And also when you're braking, it does have regenerative braking. So as you apply the brakes, it spins the generator to actually recharge the battery. Mm -hmm. And it'll show you that as well. This really is some impressive technology. Now, I know you don't have a ton of the hybrid because they don't make that many, but you do have some, 14s I, and 15s? I do, I have a couple 14s left over that Honda has put a great incentive on and they're offered for a great price. And this is actually our first 15 model that came in. It is identical to the 14, so if you're looking for a great deal, one of the leftover 14s is available. Two locations of Majestic Honda. Absolutely, I have crossed I'm into Majestic North in Lincolnwood Island and we have our other location in West Warwick on uh, Route 2.